silent night holy night all is calm and all is bright round yon virgin mother and child holy infant so tender and mild sleep in heavenly peace sleep in heavenly peace hi guys and welcome back to my channel this is vlogmas nine yes we're doing the thing we're doing it we're doing it right day nine and we've been consistent so far just late um but yeah we're doing it so at vlogmas nine and today's video i'm going to answer some questions my friends sent me um so remember to like share subscribe and leave a comment in the description in the comment section below as well as remember the 1k challenge we're on a journey to a thousand subscribers guys we are on a journey so watch that video up there to learn how to bring us to a thousand subscribers and how to enter the challenge um so yeah yeah let's get to the video all right guys so first question oh guys I want to look a little bit decent because girl sing glancing can't look in any way on camera <laughs> all right let's go to the first question um what is it what is it? what is it what is what did I press all right guys so the first question I got was well not the first question I got but these are in no order just the first question I'm going to ask um can natural hair have split ends yes every hair can have split ends does natural hair shed a lot um how much you shed is really dependent on what you do to your hair as well as it the density of your hair matters as well because if, if it is um if you have a lot of hair on your head like if it is thick like really densely populated then you might find that your shedding might be a little bit more than everybody else because you have a lot more to shed does that make sense right as well as how you comb your hair can cause shedding as well as um what was i going to say the as well as how how often you detangle because if you don't detangle in two weeks that means you have a lot of hair um just there yeah so how long you how long it take to detangle can cause shedding because we shed daily we naturally shed daily but if you don't if you don't detangle regularly or yeah regularly if you don't detangle regularly you'll find that when you're finally detangling you'll have clumps of hair in your brush or um between your fingers or or, or you'll find them like being more knotted as you're detangling because you've shed over a period of time and you've left them there to tangle up um, as well as hormone changes can cause shedding and us women sometimes you know our bodies are just hormonal for no reason and so them something there can cause shedding as well does natural hair grow faster when it's dirty listen i remember when i was younger especially when i was in high school i used to think that i used to think that dirty hair was the easiest hair to comb like i used to find that when my hair is dirty i could manage it better i don't even know if it is true anymore but what, what happened is that when there's so much product in your hair, it is heavy. And I had perm hair in high school. And so when, when your hair is weighed down with products, you find that it may lay down nicer because it's heavy. And I just used to prefer my hair dirty. But no, not so much. I'm washing my hair every week or every other week. No. So no, it doesn't necessarily, there's no science that can prove that dirty hair grows faster. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But what I can say is that um, leaving your hair dirty and washing it once in a blue moon, kind of nasty. The next question. How the, can I have natural hair without cutting it? Can I have natural hair without cutting it? I think what this person, I think this person is talking about the transitional period. No. At some point, you're going to have to cut off those dead hair. Because if your hair was processed before and you're growing it out, well, you can, you can do a lot of transition hair, transitioning hairstyles in terms of braids and stuff, braids and wigs and stuff like that. But at some point, you're going to want to cut off all that straight ends, all that dead ends. And what you don't want to do is um, cause, cause the ends to start split while you're growing out. And then a problem, because when it split, go down to your natural roots. You get what I'm saying, fam? So, you have to cut here at some point. No matter how far out you, you, it's grown, you're going to have some straight ends that you just don't want. It don't look good when you're doing it. You look a nice ear style. Let me cut it off, man. Get rid of it. Listen, people, I've said this before in another video. Once you're alive, your hair will grow. Unless you have some ailment that will that will hinder hair growth. But once you're alive, hair will grow. Don't be afraid to cut. Don't be afraid to cut. It'll grow back. I must recommend some natural hairstyles for beginners. <laughs> Guys, y'all ever see me do anything fancy with my hair? No, talk truth. Why are my friends doing this to me? Why are you guys setting me up? Y'all don't see me doing a heap of hairstyle in my ear. But um, guys, <sighs> recommend some hairstyles for, for beginners. Uh, beginners can be anything, you know, because you can have length the same way for a beginner. Somebody who just stopped wearing the transition hairstyles and you want to start wearing it out, you'll probably have some length. As well as beginners can be somebody who did the big chop and can... So, um, you can do updos, you can do a lot of pinups, you can do what I do, and I do these a lot. Bantu knots or twist outs. Those are my go-to. Or I use my rods. So, we can also do some pinup hairstyles. There are some nice pinup pin hairstyles out there. Um, when I remember when I had my, when I did my big cut, my big chop, I don't know, did I say big cut earlier? It's big chop. I remember when I did my big chop, I, I used to use the coconut curling cream, Cantu's coconut curling cream, and I used to just wet my hair and rub that in there and look like a nice coolie girl. I hope coolie is not a racial slur. So I used to put in the Cantu curling cream in my hair and my hair would be so curly and nice and I used to absolutely love it so much that when my hair started growing longer, I used to be so annoyed because it, it would shrink. My, uh, yeah, yeah, it would just shrink because I have coils. My hair is coily. And so it would just shrink when I used the coconut curling cream. And then it just wasn't looking cute anymore. And then, yeah, it got longer. You think every, you think all black people have naturally curly hair? If I think that all, I've never seen a black person without naturally curly hair that weren't born with naturally curly hair. I've never seen it. So I don't know if people out there exist that were that are black with straight hair. Like, I don't know. I've never seen that. What a weird question. Um, but I see black people with with um with Malaysian straight hair that them buy, or some I see black people out there with straight hair that them use toxic chemicals to get. But to be born with naturally straight hair, I personally have never seen it. I don't know. That's a very weird question to ask. How can straight hair be made curly? I don't know why so much cream hair people, why so much perm hair people are questioning me. Anyways, if you want to make your hair curly as a straight hair person, use rods. Twist outs. Well, maybe not twist. Yeah, twist outs are supposed to work, but do it on wet hair. If your hair is straight, if you want a nice, good, curly hairstyle, first thing first, do it on wet hair. Use rods rollers um i will never ever recommend curling irons or anything like that because i personally i'm not a big fan of heat so i'm not gonna recommend the curling iron so you can do some bantu knots on wet hair some twist outs or some braid outs and uh, yeah some rods get flexi rods or some the, even the perm rods that is in jerry curls um what else you can use there are so many um curling instruments out there now like a whole heap 
of different things that you can use to curl your hair. Just be down wet hair if your hair is straight and you'll be amazed at how curly it will be when it dry. You'll be fine. What is it like to have naturally curly hair? You forget? Why people consider um, natural hair ugly? Slavery. Slavery. That's all I can say. Slavery. So this is the last one I'm going to answer because the, the video gone long already. Jesus, I can chat. Um, which one I want to answer? How, how you can maintain your, your naturally curly hair or maintain your natural hair, period? Moisture. You need moisture. Like, develop a routine. I've said this before in another video. Y'all keep asking me the same question. But anyways, moisture and developing a routine. Developing a routine, a weekly routine. Um, a, um, a, your, your weekly wash day routine. Develop one of that. Develop how often in the week you're going to re-moisturize your hair. And re do, just, just develop a routine as to how often you're going to do whatever for the week. And then maintain that routine because you know you, you can develop a thing because a lot of times we, we, we set up um a lot of times we set up that plant I, I just set up but we still not get up and good exercise or anything i'm not really calling you i'm not sure word for nobody like myself i'm just gonna just say moving right along maybe i can answer one more the person you say i have tough hair no, but you don't tough how can I soften it? Moisture. Get some moisture and there is some water. Is moisture over here really we need every time we talk about um black hair is tough or my hair thick so it's harder to take care of or harder to take care of? Is really that we're saying we have more hair on our head or hair is dense. We have dense our hair is densely populated. We have enough hair on our head. And so I will need more moisture. It's just moisture. You'll be surprised to, to see how when you start using moisture in your hair and just using a lot more leave-in. But the truth is some of us are going to need more leave-in than, than others to, 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 to get that desired effect. Moisturize your hair. Do it in small sections. Section out here and, and moisturize it, twist it, and you'll be so surprised at how soft your hair becomes. But anyways, guys, I have to wrap up this video now because we're we're after we cut no try cut down this twenty something video into ten to twelve minutes. So guys, remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Remember the one K challenge. And until next time, guys, me and me, you are you. What good?